Hello, well today is the very last day of Hollywood Immersive, a week-long incredible program that I am so grateful that I took part in. Um, a bunch of actors from around the world came to Los Angeles to stay in this stunning mansion in the Hollywood Hills and we had an intense week of acting training. Uh, we've learned so much about acting, we've learned so much about ourselves, we've made incredible friends and it's just been an experience of a lifetime. Ivan, how was your week? Oh, you know, it's probably best week of my life so far, to be honest. It's the best week in years, yeah. It's just overwhelming. Uh, we learned so much and, you know, we became such a family as well, help each other. You just watch the growth of everyone in the class, it's pretty inspiring. And even watching yourself grow is pretty motivating that, you know, you can always get better. You just learn so much about everything, about acting, about finding yourself. This is my second time round, um, and I wanted to do Hollywood Immersive again because so I had so much fun the first time. I'm studying at Beverly Hills Playhouse again, and then the industry night, and I'm really, really happy with how the week went. Lana, how incredible was this week for you? Uh, so incredible, um, especially working at Beverly Hills Playhouse with all of the amazing mentors that we have there. I learned so much. I just Beverly Hills Playhouse. Just great. Like I. I I don't really know how else to describe it. It's just spot on. Oh, it was so incredible. It was just ridiculously incredible. I've learned so much and I met so many people. And it's just, it's really proven that, you know, this is possible, which is <laughs> something I really needed to know. And it's all thanks to Lily. I'm blown away by this week myself. Um, it's been great. I've met so many new people, so many great actors from Australia. Very friendly, lovely, uh, down to earth as always. My week was fantastic. We had our amazing showcase last night with the panel, um, and they responded really well to it. They seemed to really enjoy all the talent that Lily really scouted this time, um, which they always do. She's amazing. You rocked your monologue last night? Yeah, um, it was a very good experience doing that in front of the panel. A bit nerve-wracking, but all in all, a very good night for everyone. And like, um, this week's been really good and fun and a really humbling experience. So Nissa, how was this experience for you? Amazing, one of the most amazing experiences I've ever had. Um, the best training I've got probably, yeah, ever. So encouraging. My favourite part of the Hollywood Immersive Program is the people. The ones we've met to learn from, the ones we've met to learn with, uh, and the ones we've been joining this journey with. And the food. Also the food. The week here at the house, all the talks that we've had, it's been so inspiring. Um, I have so much that I have to process and to take back home. Dave Blomsterberg, definitely. I mean, he's a life coach and um, really broke down the barriers for everyone since day one. Stephen Mammel was really amazing for me as well this week. Uh, I just thought his work, he knows his work. For me what stood out was how he took each monologue and he was able to enhance uh, and you saw, you saw a difference just by how he, you know, he said, okay, change your voice, change your change. Uh, John Ferrida definitely, he's a manager in the US um, and he just he represents so many powerhouses and it was just incredible to even be in the same room as him and to have that insight from someone who's been able to speak for so long. I love Andy with Henry, uh, he's a casting director and uh, he got got us to simulate the real casting uh, which was amazing. Um, we got to get that feel of going uh, through the whole process. Did any of the speakers this week really stand out for you? Yeah, Michael Levine, just because he was so, he had no filter and just really quirky and just knew, you know, really had all these awesome analogies on how to, you know, improve our careers and life. Maureen actually, yeah, she was amazing. I never actually knew about hosting, so she opened up the world of hosting to me, which I'm gonna pursue now. <laughs> What's the plan now for you? Um, so, try to get an agent over here or a manager and then hopefully start working. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the big goal. And you know, in a couple of years, like Oscars and Tonys and all that stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna stay here. I wanna live here. <laughs> so, um, yeah, just staying here as long as I can, getting out there as much as I can, and just seeing what happens. You have some pretty big plans when you go home to Fiji, don't you? Yes, I do. I want to go back home and I want to 
open up a performing arts school that will um, train aspiring dancers, actors and musicians. It's a unique experience that I recommend doing, definitely. Yeah.